As Nigeria marks its 63rd independence anniversary, the lead parcel of Royal City Church said, the nation's leaders must focus on policies that will usher in a change for the better. And don't forget that in the Committee of Nations, Nigeria is still very young. 63 years compared to America, that is over 300 years. We are still a very young nation. So there's hope for us. And I like the theme, Renewed Hope. So I know that we can make it happen. So we need just to uh, recondition ourselves and also begin to tell ourselves the truth. Another clergyman, Bayo Oladiji, says, what is happening in Nigeria? runs contrary to what the nation's founding fathers bargained for. If those who fought for Nigerian independence were to be alive now, they will be lamenting, they will be regretting. They will even be saying that they wish the British colonial masters continue ruling us. Look at the currency, look at the lifestyle, look at the place of our school. Everywhere is in shambles. shamble. Nothing is working. Foreign participants were of the view that bad leadership is a canker worm eating deep into the fabric of the nation. A country or society misses the leadership, you can't get it right until they go back to it. There are some people that ordinarily they're supposed to be reading about what is happening in government in the media. They are the one in charge of the of the government. Some people don't have anything, they are headed around. What am I going to get from this system? Go to the, okay, look at it now. Our senators, people are groaning over the uh, withdrawal subsidy. They were announcing us that they need bulletproof cars. Nigerian leaders come out from Nigeria. So the way Nigerians are, that's how our leaders are. You, you know, someone from the motor park cannot be, you know, different from the people who work there. If Nigeria is going to change, Nigerians are going to change, both the followers and the leadership. They called on Labour Congress to be sincere in its attempt to get the government to alleviate the hardship of Nigerians, but should not hinder the economic progress of the country in the process. Come on, Basi. AIT News, Abuja, Nigeria's capital.